I'm, I'm going to do this first, but everybody stand up. Testing one, two. Stand up, please. This is a word of revelation after all this message I just did. Here is what God is saying to General Love International Family Ministries and everybody in here, including the Jarrett at Christ the Rock. Hear me, baby. Hear me, please. Please look in my eyes if you have to. Take your eyes off of things. Amen. What God is doing for you in this season is imparting his kingdom. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. He's trying to get you to a place where you hear his voice and move. Come on, Come on, yeah. Where he said now, 
When I got up, he was offered up for my transgressions, raised up again for my, my, my uh, justification. He justified me. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And the reason why I know I have it, y'all gonna shout with me, but I'm not gonna give you none. The reason you know why I know I have it, you, is because I know in my spirit, when he got up, I got justified. I have peace with God. Amen. All the only thing important right now, Dwight, is God's timing. Yes, uh -huh. Lord. And God has already told me this is the season oh, no. of sudden manifestation. It is. I'm not going to tell you about it, but I got a phone, I got a text yesterday of sudden manifestation. Come on, say amen. Yeah. I'm going right. I ain't saying nothing until I see it in my hand. But I know it's coming. Come on, now. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? He, you, because you're justified. So when you go before him, you tell him that you, he can't he can take them from you. See, but you're, you, you, get, you, you, you wasn't taught to talk to God like that, right? Oh, no. You're scared, right? Yeah. So why did they come boldly? Exactly. Amen. You have a right to go say, man, you said this. I do all the time. <laughs> yeah. And this is your time, and this is your time to count, this is your grace. Yep. And now, I'm, I'm, de I'm demanding you already ready. Come on now. Yeah. Talk to us. Yeah. I'm going to share this with you all. That's good music, Shelby. Cut it down a little bit because the mic ain't working good for me. I'm going to share this with you on our microphone. Here's what I'm doing. It's my life. I'm giving you something. If you want to apply it, please do. Your inheritance is given to your house. It means that the vicar's house is all the vicar's from the time the first vicar's existed. God sends it to a house. Generation, this is good. Y'all might want to tip me for this. Generation after generation after generation has received an inheritance. The things appointed Jamal that your granddaddy was supposed to get. The problem is he didn't know that. But that thing still sitting in heaven because the Bible says it's eternal, uncorruptible, undefiled, and fading not away. Wow. Y'all ain't saying. Wow. So when you hear, y'all stay with me. When you hear these people talk about people who go to heaven, and Peter walked in the table in the room and said, all oh, that was yours, but you didn't ask for it. But it's still there. So if I'm a Thompson, and I'm still living, y'all don't understand this kind of thing. Don't I have the right to ask for what my dad didn't get? Trump's there, yeah. yes. Yes. I don't think nobody getting this. <laughs> See, we so used, listen, listen. Oh, God, have a good prayer for me. We so used to church that you receive this as a church message. Exactly. It's not a church message. Exactly. I am telling you, that everything that God said to your family is still there waiting for somebody to claim it. You know what I'm telling God every day? I don't know if my wife wants me praying. I don't want to come up there and you show me something I could have had. Come on now. I want it right now. Right now. And I'm claiming it not because of my goodness, I'm claiming it because of him. Amen. And I don't want to come and you show me what my grand and great granddad didn't get. I want theirs too. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Why? Because it can't fade away, Q. Yeah. If nobody get it, it's going to sit there for eternity. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't y'all believe that this part of the Spirit is a mess, isn't it? Why can't you believe that you can claim everything that's been given to your house? Amen. Mm. I'm going to pray for you this morning. If you can't touch somebody, boy, I love the, I love the Jesus. If you love the Lord, say amen. 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 Give me the microphone, please. Turn the, turn the game down just a little bit, show me. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Listen, gentlemen. I want you to be like Paul said, I want you to be like I am. I'm in a great place in life, yo. I'm not moved by nothing that I see. Nothing. Nothing I see or feel moves me. You have to understand, faith comes by hearing. Warfare coming by thinking. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's another little tip right there that, that you're tipping for, but I don't pass on that. <laughs> what I want you to try to get, please, is this. God wants you to have everything. Yes. 